Welcome back to STL Live. I'm Steve Potter and we're learning about the STL AG Young Artist Showcase. And with me is MFA Media Coordinator, Brian Robertson, and MFA Curator of Emerson's Young Artists Showcase and the owner of the Reese Gallery, Ruth Reese. And we're talking about a, a show that's currently up right now featuring uh, work from high school students. Uh, it's, it's, is there a geographical uh, area that we're concerned in? Is it just St. Louis County, or where are all these kids from? So it's within a 150-mile radius of the St. Louis metropolitan region, of the St. Louis city limits. Mm -hmm. um, and actually, the farthest high school we have is Salem High School in Salem, Missouri, which is right at the 150-mile. Wow. But you're market. doing it on the Illinois side, too, right? Yes, yes. So right. we have... Um, high schools from Illinois as well. And they won three awards, so um, distance is no impediment to right. doing well. I like that you kind of go out <laughs> into the in the outside of the city and bring those kids in too. Mm -hmm. uh, where is the the uh, art show, the art exhibition located? And tell me about the the uh, the event space. Um, it's it has a lovely grand hall, um, and and where is it? It's. In the the St. Louis Artist Guild is located in downtown Clayton at 12 North Jackson Avenue. Mm -hmm. It is in the site of the old famous bar. Mm -hmm. So it's an old department store. We have windows along Jackson where we put work from local artists in. And then we have the big showroom floor with very tall ceilings. And it is just a great contemporary space. And Ruth, you curated this. So you, you chose all the art that's in this. So we picked out, uh, you brought along with you some examples of what, what's currently up and what we can mm -hmm. see. So let's go to the first one. Maybe you can tell me a little bit about the artists if you can and what medium they work in and, and what their art is all about. Uh, this is a lovely piece uh, wrapped up in my work. Uh, it really references a uh, period in art history, Brock and Cubism, although it's just reinvented for today. Um, it's a relief, so it comes off the wall um, and it really kind of draws in the viewer. Now, is that a wrench I'm seeing? Yes, there's uh, tools that have been uh, wrapped in yarn uh, and there's a collage backing that. So it's like a 3D effect if you saw this in person, right? It is. Um, so it's, it's just like a painting come alive. Any thoughts about that, Brian? Uh, it just really caught my attention the way the, they wrap the yarn around to create the forms. Um, and I thought it was really skillfully crafted and a unique addition to the Young Artist Showcase. Looks professional to me. Let's go to the next one. I think when artists bring their vision into the third dimension, it's a great moment uh, to escalate their skill. Uh, this is just a formal composition uh, with geometric lines and shapes. Uh, it's very um, subtle and relaxing. It's called to be or not to be, so of course it references nature and um, coming and going. And Shakespeare. And Hive, <laughs> yeah, which I think the St. Louis Artists Guild is a great Hive moment for people to come. And oh, buzz. I see B with two E's. Mm -hmm. Right, I've just caught on to that. Yes. Let's look at the next one. I was especially drawn to this piece, and it received the um, an award. Uh, it has this lovely electric green stripe just coursing down the side of that core shadow, and it reminded me really of a Matisse where there's a portrait with a green stripe. So I thought it was a wonderful reinvention mm -hmm. for today. Do you know today's. what the medium is on that? That is um, oil on canvas, mm -hmm. and it's about 18 by 24, so a little bigger than you might imagine. Brian, what's your artist take on that? Uh, I mean, I'm drawn like Ruth to the color. It just is a fantastic, you know, display of ocular glory, <laughs> if you will. Um, and I really also like the orange highlight on the bottom of the hand underneath the, the chin. It really draws your attention right to that Looks spot. Looks like the light's hitting it from somewhere. Yeah, you definitely She's notice that. fabulous smile. Uh -huh. Yeah, she and does. just a bright personality, <laughs> great, a great kid to meet. Let's, let's check out the next one. This piece is a sculpture made from paper, which is a very delicate. Now, I'm a, I'm a sushi freak, so I yes. really appreciate this. Can't eat it, but you oh, want shoot. to. It's a magical feast <laughs> just for your eyes only. Um, and it just was so delicately rendered that I had, to, I had to include it. It looks real. I've seen things like that in restaurants. Brian, what, any comments? Yeah, every single thing on there is made from paper, and I just thought it was um, really creative and showed great craft. All right, I think we've got another one or two. 
Hmm. This piece really uh, similar to the top. There's it's, a story behind this. I just know there is. Oh, well, I'm going to make it up right now. Celia <laughs> Frederick, she won a $250 um, silver award. Um, and I just thought it was such a poetic reflection on freedom and constraint. It's humbly rendered in graphite, which is an overlooked medium. So I was drawn to that. Brian, anything briefly? I just thought it was a great sort of play on the idea of shutting yourself off from the world, but also uh, that your freedom's not free, just that, you know, constrained from the inside. Well, we uh, look forward to seeing this whole thing if people have till the end of the month to see it, right? Yes, yeah. until right. March 31st. Right. Well, thank you both for being here and sharing it with us, and keep up the good work, and it's great to see you encouraging young people in an artistic way. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Thank you. The Emerson Young Artists Showcase is being held between March 8th, so it's up now, running through March 31st, with a gallery talk, which is going to happen on March 21st. The showcase begins at 7 p.m. in the St. Louis Artist Guild, which is located at 12 Jackson Avenue. And if you'd like more information, visit stlewisartistguild.org. There's more STL Live right after this, so don't go away.